Select a sensor zone from one of the general direction arrows on the left side of the Traffic.2 menu. Then drop it on its relative location on the site map. Fill in the required box for the sensor zone name. Then select one of the required types from the list below. Next, select an arrow for its function and apply. Use the sensor zone icon handles to adjust the angle, size, and exact location of the sensor zone on the map. Repeat these steps for each sensor zone that will be used on the map. Required elements are the sensor zone name, sensor zone type, and an arrow to indicate its directional function, and apply. Use the sensor zone icon handles to adjust the angle, size, and exact location of the sensor zone on the map. Select one of the magnetometer sensors from the active device tray to display its configuration panel. From its command tab, set the RF channel of the magnetometer. In this case, we'll set it to that of the SPP Radio 1. Select the set RF channel and a box appears to confirm your change. The command log will now show estimated percentage of completion. Select the hide log button to proceed. From the same commands tab of the magnetometer configuration menu, set the mode to one of 16 stop bar modes in the list. Select the Set Mode button. The command log now shows estimated percentage of completion. Select the Hide Log button to continue. Repeat these steps for all of your stop bar sensors. Set RF channel. Confirm. Set stop bar mode. Drag the configured magnetometer sensor from the active device tray and drop it to its position on the configured sensor zone. Use the icon handles to resize for easy viewing on the Traffic.2 screen. Because these are stop bar sensors, their relative vertical position is always lead zero.
From the card address tab of the sensor's configuration panel, assign the sensor's detections to a specific contact closure input by selecting the shelf ID, slot ID, and a specific input channel on the contact closure card, and then selecting the apply button. Contact closure card assignment can also be made by simply dragging the sensor from the sensor zone to the input of the contact closure card and then selecting yes to apply.